Today, I'm going to show you a really simple way to multiply two numbers together. This technique originates from Japan and involves substituting numbers for lines. We'll start with 13 times 21. As we can see, the first digit in this equation is 1, which means we draw one straight line diagonally like this. The next digit is 3, so we leave a little space, then draw three lines parallel to the first one like this. After the multiplication sign, the first number we have is 2, so we draw two lines next to each other from here to here. And the final digit is 1, so we draw one line from here to here. That's the first part complete, and it should look something like this. Once we've drawn it out, we need to separate it into three separate zones where the lines cross, like this. Then starting from the right-hand zone, we need to count how many times any of the lines cross. In this case, three. We write that here and move on to the next zone. So again, we count how many times the lines cross, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and write it at the top. Then move on to the last zone and do exactly the same again. One, two, two, seven, three. And that gives us our answer. 13 times 21 is 273. Pretty cool, huh? So here's another quick example. 32 times 12. The first digit of the first number is 3, so we draw three lines here. The next number is 2, so draw two lines here. Then we have the multiplication sign, and the next number is 1, so draw one line from here to here. And the final number is 2, so draw two lines here. Then we mark out our three zones again. And starting from the right, start counting the dots. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Write that here. And finally, 1, 2, 3. 3, 8, 4. 384. There we have our answer. Simples. But it does get a little more complicated if we add more lines. I'll show you. Let's multiply 14 by 23. So draw out the pattern. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. 2. And 1, 2, 3. Mark out our zones, and now let's count the dots. Starting from the right, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we'll write 12 up here. But if this number is ever more than 9, in other words, if it's a two-digit number, we leave the last digit where it is, but we take the first number, carry it over to the next zone, and add it to the number of dots in this zone. I'll show you. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 dots, or line crosses, in this zone. We add that to the 1 we carried over from the last zone, and that gives us 12. So now we have to do exactly the same again. Leave the last digit where it is, carry the first digit over to the next zone, and add it to the number of dots in this zone. In this case, 2 dots, giving us a total of 3. And that gives us our answer. 3, 2, 2. 14 multiplied by 23 is 322. We'll now go one step further and look at multiplying even larger numbers. So the first number we have now is a three-digit number. Start by drawing out the lines for the first digit, leave a space, then do the lines for the second digit, then leave another space and do the lines for the last digit. Next, we have a multiplication symbol, then we draw out the lines for the next number. Once we've drawn out the pattern, we'll mark out the zones. This time, as you can see, there'll actually be four zones. Then, starting from the right again, we'll count out the dots. Three, one at the bottom, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So again, we leave the last digit there, carry the first digit over to the next zone, and add it to the dots. 1, 2, 3, plus 1 gives us 4. 4, 1, 7, 3. So our answer, 321 times 13, is 4,173. I hope you've been able to follow this tutorial. If you haven't, my advice would be just use a calculator.